We then want them to take the six to start an entirely new math problem, but we're not doing subtraction anymore. We are flipping it to addition. The lengths that I have gone to to understand this process of math, it finally clicked for me, so I wanna help it click for you. My biggest setback was why we were including addition into an initial subtraction problem. I understand that addition and subtraction go hand in hand, but for me, without any context, this didn't make any sense. I understand that you take 10 minus the original problem, so 10 minus 7 equals 3, and then you bring your 3 down here. I could not understand why we would then include addition with 8, which would be our remaining number over here, back into our original problem. This is just another way of including the remainder. The eight over here is the remainder of 18 when we've already used our 10. If you flip that mindset and maybe even just use the key terms that we were brought up with using, it helps make it make sense. 10 minus seven here equals three. Three plus our remainder to our original problem, three plus eight equals 11. Therefore, 18 minus seven equals 11.